like her. Oh, I love all this stabilization. Yes, I think I do. Honestly, don't hurt. be a good example? Yeah. Lol. No, not explosion. Alright, okay. Shh. Everyone, listen, I'll tell you a few things about liquid options. Um, before we start, we're waiting for the hot water to arrive anyway, but I'll uh, talk about liquid nitrogen. Obviously, nitrogen is, nitrogen is a um, colourless, unreactive gas, so it's very, very safe. We, in our air around us at the moment, we've got almost 80% nitrogen, so 78% nitrogen, we're breathing it in at the moment and it's quite uh, safe. Um, now obviously liquid nitrogen, is it boils at minus 196 degrees C, so it's very, very No idea what he's talking about. Um, I know. It's very dangerous to touch because it would freeze you immediately. Um, and obviously what we're going to do is we're going to add some hot water to it and it will boil very, very quickly. It will, you can't see the liquid nitrogen, but you can actually see the condensation that it creates because you've got lots of cold... So we're watching condensation. Yep, pretty much. And... Um, and you actually will see clouds and clouds of condensation. Now, uh, it's very safe, although obviously if you have too much nitrogen in the air, you know, sometimes it can't get free because there's less oxygen in the air. Breathing is triggered by the build-up of carbon dioxide, not the lack of oxygen. You know, I think it's almost the whole of breathing. You know, the whole of breathing. Oh, it's coming. From my personal experience, that's not right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Ooh, water. Hard pour. Oh, yep. Looks like water. Wait, see, red light. Boil up to nothing in a minute. This video turns out clear. Yeah, I'll just focus on this next one. We should have really gone over that side. <laughs> That's nice, Lawrence. <laughs> A 
bonus to be had with nitrogen. <laughs> Got a watery explosion instead. Oh, close enough. Oh, it's not. 